Hey guys, welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. Today, let's talk about the Slinky Vertical Menu widget by Element Pack Pro. Let's drag the widget inside Elementor Page Editor. This is a menu widget that shows the menu items vertically and has a cool transition effect for going into the subcategory menus. Just click and the layout shifts to the new set of menus with a span animation. Just to see things better, let's add some padding here from the advanced tab. From layout, turning on the dynamic menu button lets you choose menu bars created within WordPress and use them inside the slinky vertical menu layout. Then let's select our main menu here. Everything is OK. Click on the menu option to open the submenu inside the same menu layout like this. This widget saves space, makes the layout more user friendly and fun to interact with. Let's turn off the dynamic menu and see the manually created default menu setup here. You can always create a new menu item by clicking the add item button. Just fill up the info and the new menu item is ready. You can drag it around to place it anywhere inside the menu area. Again, you can simply copy an item by clicking the duplicate button here. Then you can select to start a child menu aka submenu whenever you want. Then you can change the submenu titles. And end it with a child end menu item. You can also create more submenus inside an existing submenu. That's very easy and doesn't require any special tools. Just see here how it's done. As you can see, it works perfectly with our custom Slinky vertical menu. Now let's explore more settings. The additional section gives you a switcher to turn on the menu into a sticky menu bar. You can always customize the width of the menu by dragging the scroll bar here. And of course, use the element option to keep a steady level over the content area. On the style tab, you will see options to further develop the appearance of the menu. Start with a custom background color. Text goes white now. Then some deep color for the hover mode. You can also add border to the menu from the options. Let's add some content padding now. You can see a white line between two menu items which is the spacing. You can increase it as you like from here. Then you could customize the font using the typography option. The next section is for customizing the submenu indicator. Let's pick yellow for example. And then white for the hover. You can change the icon size from typography. And with some tweaks here and there, you get a nice unique vertical menu with a slinky animation effect. Awesome, isn't it? That's it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.